Hi family, it's your girl Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how I do fried Cornish hen. But before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's free, totally free. You don't have to have good credit. Doesn't matter if you have bad credit. Doesn't matter. Free, totally free. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Like it, comment, and share it. So we're going to get right into this video. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have my little birdies. They're ready to go in the pot. They've already been seasoned and they've been sitting in the refrigerator marinating for a couple of hours. So I took the, took the chicken out maybe like a half hour ago just to take the chill off. I have my grease ready right here. Let me turn you guys around. So this grease, I have a full pot of grease. This is, grease is ready to go. It's been on for about 30 minutes. So I have my flour right here. So I'm just gonna add this little bad boy, this little hen. I'm gonna add the first one in here. And I'm just gonna blend it up really well. So I hope your day is, is, is going really well, whatever day this is for me. This is Thursday evening. You know, I'm in here cooking, so I don't know what day you're watching this video or time of the day. But in any case, I hope it's, your day is going well. It's blessed. And yeah, and I thank you so much for wanting to spend it with me or, or part of it with me anyway. Okay, so now I have the first one nice and coated, you know, with flour. So I'm just going to drop it in there. Uh, you hear that sound? I call it the grease cussing out the chicken. So now, I'm going to go ahead and clean this mess up afterwards. I'm going to add the second one in. And you I don't have a um, deep fryer, so I'm using one of my large pots. And I just filled it up, you know, halfway with uh, grease. Because once you... Once you submerge the um, hens in the grease, the grease is going to rise. So you don't want to fill the pot all the way up. Okay, so now I have the second one. I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to bring you up closer so you can see how it looks. Alright, so that's what it's looking like. So yeah, I'm going to go clean my hands off and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, so while the chicken is frying, um, since we're doing fried chicken, I don't want it to be all fried, fried food, so I'm going to do a little healthy. So I'm going to make some asparagus on the sides. So I washed them already, so I'm just going to cut these ends. Get these out of the way. And I'll just put this to the side. I'll clean up afterwards. So, yeah, I'm going to add these in this pan. So now I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil. Then we're going to add a little pink Himalayan salt. This is healthier. Put a little garlic on there. And then also I'm going to add some um, grated Parmesan cheese and then I'm going to bake these in the oven. I'm not going to put them in the oven just yet. I'll wait until my um, my Cornish hens are almost done. So I'm just going to mix that up nicely like this. Get it nice and coated with all the seasoning and the oil. Yeah. What these are looking like. So I'm going to pop these I have the oven preheated, warming up for 400 degrees, and then I'll pop these in the oven when my hands, you know, are halfway done. All right, and I'll check back with y'all, fam. All right, y'all. Just checking back in. So I'm going to just do a little turn on these babies. Oh, they're looking pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, yes. Can y'all see that? 
Y'all, my camera keeps cutting off. It's telling me that memory is full. But we're going to get through this. So anyway, um, in addition to the asparagus family, this video just would not let me be great. But anyway, the babies are done. Look at that, y'all. Alrighty fam, here they are, fried Cornish hens. Thank you so much once again for hanging in there with me through all the technical difficulties. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna push through family because you know that's that's what we do. So here are the birds, um, the asparagus. In case you're wondering, they came out really good, and right now I'm in the process of um, making some spinach to go with this. Okay, and then also just a little thing, a note. Um, when you have any type of green vegetables, mainly spinach, any leafy vegetables, when you have some left over to make it last longer, take a paper towel, a dry paper towel, and cover your um, leafy vegetables, and it's going to absorb any extra water, and that'll make your um, vegetables last longer. Okay, just a little tip of the day. But again, thank you for tuning in. I'm about to um, join Bay and the... Uh, smash these little babies and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video be safe love you god bless and uh yeah i'll see you soon Mwah.